So um, if you guys have any questions, though, please make sure you raise your hand. I'll just go through them as well. All right, the product of powers. Very simply, all the product of powers states is we'll go through the arbitrary form first. The product of powers states that when you have um, a term raised to a power multiplied a term to another power, to simplify that, it's x to the b plus a. All right? So let's go and take a look at that. And what I like to do when I show these, I like to say, why is that always true? Why is it when you take two bases that are raised to powers that we add the powers? Well, let's take a look at, um, let's do 3 squared times 3 cubed. All right? Now, in reality, what this is going to be is 3 squared, we know, is 9 times 3 cubed, which is 27, right? And then 27 times 3, 3 cubed is 27, right? No. 3 cubed. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 would be 27, right? And then 18 uh, is 243, OK? So 9 times 243, or 9 times 27, is equal to 243. Now, if you guys want to check in your calculator, you guys can check this. Well, in reality, rather than just simplifying each one of these, we can also say that 3 squared times 3 cubed is equal to 3 to the fifth power, correct? So let's see. What is 3 to the fifth power, if anybody wants to check in their calculator? 243. All right. And the last thing I want to show you guys is one other way how to explain this. Is if we look at this, 3 squared means what? 3 times 3, right? And what does 3 cubed mean? <laughs> times 3 times 3 times 3. If you guys look at it, 3 squared times 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which means when you multiply 3 by itself five times, that means 3 raised to what power? The fifth. So do you guys see how when you multiply with the same base, all you're simply doing is just adding them up? Make a little sense? Kind of? OK. So that's the power, or I'm sorry, the product of 